Welcome back everyone. This is part two of our multi-part series in creating a booking app. In part one, we'll learn how to create an account and set initial availability across Monday and Sunday. Today, we will build upon it by allowing users to set and change the availability across the week. Let's get started. Now let's quickly create the page where we're gonna manage the class times. Let's create a page. Um, let's just create a blank place for simplicity's sake. And here, manage class time. So here we need to show Monday to Sunday in addition to a uh, start time and an end time. So we're gonna quickly just create a, go down the column, let's just call it a container. And in the container, you're gonna have it's infinite height. Container, you're gonna have a column of text. Let's call it Monday and then Within this, we're going to have a row. It's going to be a button, uh, two button to be precise, inside the row, inside the row, sorry. And then we're going to duplicate this. And it's going to be the start time and the end time. Let's add some padding just for neatness sake. Once we've done this, let's quickly just, just set Monday's time as a test, and then we can duplicate and quickly do the rest from Monday to Sunday. So the first we need to do is pull in information about the class that we just created. So to do this, we go to document from reference, classes, and the class ref we are pulling is from the authenticators users class ref. Now let's quickly add a save button here when we do save the information about the time. So the button could be here, and then let's call this save. So this button will basically update the availability based on what we have inputted here. So what I also like to do is actually have an app state that contains all the availability. Firstly, the app state will pull information when we load up the page, and they will also be amended when we have information when, the, when we're managing the time um, based on the manage class time page. So availability is gonna be data type of availability and it's gonna be a list. I'll explain a bit later why we're doing this because it actually helps with the UI and the ease of updating um, when we save information back to Firebase. Let's quickly go back to profile when manage class. The value we're gonna set is actually, we're gonna pull information um, from document from reference, classes, and the user refs class. So when we set the app state, we're gonna pull information from class document availability. So going back to managing class time. So the first thing we wanna do is this pops up a, a time selection. So it's gonna be called, it's called date time picker. And then let's just set a current value, uh, current time as a default. So the next step we're gonna do is basically once the user has selected information, so this is the initial value of current time, but the user can enter information about the custom time they want. The next thing we're gonna do is update app state. So here, when, so when this value is changed, we're gonna update the app state we just, which is containing our availability. The value of the app state we're gonna update is of index zero, which is Monday. And then we're gonna update the fields. Here, we want to update the start time. And the start time is gonna be based on this exact widget. And similarly, we're gonna update exact same action. We're gonna update the end time. So just copy the action chain. paste it and the update field here we're updating the end time instead so it's going to be the end time it's going to be this widget that we're using so date picked two now when we press save what we want to do here is update the existing document so we're going to update the document of the classes classes reference and the field we're updating is the availability. And we're simply gonna set this based on our app state. 
which has the new updated availability based on the times we have inputted. Okay, now that we have created the action for the save, what we need to do is really for the UI component of this button. Here, the button will show a time selector. However, we want to update the value of this button to show what's been selected or else you'll always show the word button. So on initial load, we want to show um, the time from the database. However, after a user has selected this, we want to update this value again based on what the time has selected, which is the reason why we're using the app state here because it manages everything so easily from the app state. So the first we need to do is use conditional values. If there is a time in the app state, or if it's set, sorry, if it's not set, sorry, if Monday's start time is not set, we will simply show the words start time because it's blank. However, if, if it's set initially, because we pulled it from the Firebase and there was a time available, we will show that value first, else it's gonna show the drop down of what is inputted by the user. So here we're gonna need another if statement. So it's if there is a start time field already existing, item index, specific index of zero, which is Monday, if it already has the field of start time, we will show the app state's start time. And let's quickly format this into something basic. Else, lastly, we want to update it based on the user's input. So we're gonna go to date pick number one and then date time format. PM. So let's quickly update this for the end time as well. Let's copy this whole thing in, paste, and change all these information to reference the end time. Now let's test this app to see if it works. We manage class time, and then because the end time hasn't been set, or any time hasn't been set, in the back end for Monday, it will show start time and end time. And our start time is going to be 3 p.m. Here it's updated to 3 p.m. Our end time is going to be 5 p.m. It's updated to 5 p.m. And when we click save, information will save to the back end. And here we can see here the end time and the start time has been updated with what we have inputted. However, I forgot to re navigate this back to the profile page. Let's quickly change this to navigate to profile page and disable back navigation. So now this looks good. So let's just say we reload this again. So now the backend information has 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. for Monday. Now ideally when we load up manage availability, again, it will show three to five as already input information, which is exactly what's happening. So let's just say I wanna update it's a three to five, I go three to 9 p.m., 9 p.m. And then I will press save. And what's happening in the back end here? It's been updated between three to 9 p.m. Perfect, this works. Now we simply got to do the same for Monday to Sunday. I'll quickly uh, speed through this, um, but it's exact same idea where you're just simply duplicating this container and what you need to update are information across here. So you're gonna select the index required. So Tuesday will be index of one, Wednesday will be index of two and so on. And then similarly, you need to update the index here as well. So when you update the index of the app state, make sure you're updating the actual day. So similarly, Tuesday is index of one, Wednesday is index of two, all the way up to index of six for Sunday. So I'll speed through this really quickly. Okay, now that's done. Let's test to see if I missed anything. So let's manage the time of Monday to Sunday. 
Okay, now we've set individual availability uh, based on you know, each individual day. Let's see uh, if we've made any error or missed anything when I press save to the back end. Perfect, it seems like everything has been updated correctly. Um, every day is different, which is good. So you can see here, this is what is from the back end. So now we have a class that has custom availability based on each day of the week. And the back end is showing for Monday, we'll have a time of 3 to 9 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, 4 to 8 a.m. And just a note, this date doesn't matter in the end. It's simply the date that's been selected, but we won't need this at all when we are booking classes. I'm going to conclude the lesson here. Next lesson, we will finish our booking app by showing available time slots and completing the actual booking. Remember to subscribe to keep updated.